Oh, almost dropped the camera. I'm great at unboxing things. The number one kitchen thing that I think that you need. Welcome to A Wonderlust for Life. Today is Vlogmas day number 10. I'm Jessica and if you're new here, welcome. Check out the other Vlogmas videos. I will leave a playlist down below for you. But today we are going to talk about kitchen stuff. So there's a couple different things that I wanna to talk to you guys about today. One is I'll do an unboxing of my hopefully new favorite thing that I've been saving for for ages. Second will be what I think might be the best kitchen tool to buy if you are just moving in somewhere and it's not very expensive either. And third is why buy quality? Okay, so first of all, I think I wanna do the unboxing. <laughs> So this is my new Vitamix, and I'm not all up on the models, but this is the A2500i, the Ascent series. I did specifically go with this one. I did so much research over years and years and years, and we made sure to save up for this. So we do tend to buy nicer things for some things, not everything. I'll get into that later. But for this blender, we actually have a blender that you saw yesterday and it does fine. But in our new healthy diet way of living, um, we do have more smoothies and soups and things like that so that we can get more things in like one meal. What I found is that I think our blender does fine for some things, but it just really, really struggles um, on some of the key things that I really want. Even though we've been looking at Vitamix for years, it didn't really seem important until we actually started using our blender almost every day, if not every day. So this 10 year warranty is one big reason to get a Vitamix. Like, you know they stand behind their product, which is great. I'll explain these later. Oh man, this is gonna be hard to get out. I think this is a flip it upside down kind of situation. Don't break the new blender. Oh, almost dropped the camera. Okay, so it's not dumping out, but this came out. I have to say, one of the things that I do like about my blender is it's glass. Um, I wasn't sure about having a plastic one, but based on all the reviews and everything, it does seem like it's just fine. This feels massive. It seems so big. Here's the, what do you call this? The dampener? No, it's not a dampener, is it? No. It makes sure things get moving in there. Why is it stuck? The handles. There we go. I'm great at unboxing things. Looks like all that's left is the base. Guess that makes sense. The book was on top. Ooh, it has a recipe book. I think that's what it is. Um, I really wanted that. I think there might be another book I'd be interested in because I do want to use it for soups and smoothies and dips and all that kind of stuff. Ooh. Ooh, look at this baby. So it is heavy. It isn't as heavy as I thought though. So I guess that's good. Um, something that some people were saying was really nice about this is it has um, the underneath side where you can wrap up the cable so you don't have a super, super long cable if you don't need it. And it will be right next to the outlet, so I won't need it. There you go. I'm in love. Okay, so one of the reasons that I liked this one and I didn't go for a higher version was because I felt like it had the presets that I needed and the higher ones tend to just have more presets. At least that was what I noticed. So this has like a smoothie preset, a ice cream preset and a soup preset. And that's basically what I want. I'm not sure how I'll use the ice cream one, but that's okay. I'll be happy to find out. All right, so what are the accoutrements that we got? I mentioned that we do smoothies a lot. Sean and I don't always want smoothies at the same time and there's no point in using a big thing if you're not going to. So it did make a lot of sense because we use this product, our, our current blender all the time, is the, the single use cup basically. And it comes with a lid so you can take it to go. I don't take it to go, but that's okay. Um, the other really cool thing about this and this blender is that it knows which thing is inside. So I guess it adjusts speed and stuff like that because of like, I guess these magnets I don't know, but that's cool. <laughs> Second thing we got is similar. It's basically that except smaller. So these are one cup 
um, containers. So I will use this for dips, spreads. Like last night, I made a, a paste from Parmesan cheese, basil, and sun-dried tomatoes. The sun-dried tomatoes from my Tuscany box. Mm -hmm. If you didn't see that video, I'll leave a link down below. Whew, that was good stuff. Um, but just stuff that you don't need a big thing for. Also has lids so that you can um, put them in the fridge if you don't need them right now. Again, it has the sensors in here, so the blender knows which thing is inside of it. And the most important thing, oh my gosh, this is way heavier than I thought. How is it the blender base was lighter than I thought and this is heavier? <laughs> this is the base for the small thing and the big thing, meaning this being the big thing. So this will go on here and then go upside down on the blender. I cannot wait to use this and we'll sell the other one. Okay, so why Vitamix? Why even spend the money? First of all, I always look for deals. I'm quite proud of myself with that. Um, we were waiting for it to go below a certain amount and it did. And then <laughs> when I went in to pay for it, it was actually 120 euros cheaper than what I thought I was paying for it, for all of it. I got all of this for I think less than the price of what it normally is for just the blender and nothing else. So I think I did a pretty good job. But anyway, why even bother? So we like to spend our money on quality things that will last a long time and will make your life easier. And because we are using our blender so frequently, we thought that it best to invest in something that will last for a very long time and gets the job done in the way that we want it to. It's really as simple as that. We've been waiting to buy this for years. This was not a knee-jerk decision or anything, but it is something that we will use constantly and for a very, very long time. But it's just the thing about you know, being, being less wasteful, not buying something that you know will break in two years. It's all, it's all a cycle, right? Like if you keep things for a long time, you are spending less money, producing less waste, and it's better for the environment for sure. So that's kind of why we do this, even though it's a lot of packaging, which I don't love, but it looks like everything is recyclable, the plastic and then it's just a box, so that's great. And then we will sell our current blender to somebody who needs it. It's not getting thrown away, I promise you. Okay, so the number one kitchen thing that I think that you need, especially in the Netherlands, this was one of the first things we got because even though the apartment we were living in was fully furnished, including every kitchen thing, almost every kitchen thing, we found ourselves needing like a mini food processor or a blender or something like that. So. We ended up finding on, I think, Facebook Marketplace, somebody was selling a hand blender with a couple accessories. Nowadays, you can find a lot more accessories, and so I would actually recommend this even more now. But ours is, oh, we still use this all the time, by the way. It does jobs that you just can't do at least easily any other way. This is a Philips hand blender. Um, I think it goes by a couple different names, but we use this in soups all the time. You just turn the heat off and then you stick this in and just blend up the soup. So we use this for pumpkin soups, carrot soups, really anything that we wanna be not as chunky or we just want it actually silky smooth. So that is great for that. This comes with this cup so that you can put stuff in here and blend it if you don't have a pan. I do a one person hollandaise sauce in here and I just drizzle in the butter and then I turn this on the whole time. And one of the attachments is a little food processor. And I love this because I hate my big food processor. So I try to use this as much as possible. And it just, see this thing? This just comes off. You put it on here. And now you have a little food processor. I love it so much. And this woman was selling, so she was moving away. She sold it for five or 10 euros and it has been invaluable. So we've had this for over six years. That's insane. Goodbye. And this is Philips. So the one thing is I recognize very clearly that even though there's a name brand, it's not always great. The food processor we have is a KitchenAid. And I thought because I love my KitchenAid mixer so much, I would love it. I hate it. I really don't know what to do about it because I don't know what food processor is the best. And of course we already have it, so. So buying quality, whether it's something small like this, 
You know, it doesn't have to be super expensive. Do your research. America's Test Kitchen is a great place to uh, find that kind of information, but just do your research and make sure you're getting something that lasts. Like I said, it does not have to be hundreds and hundreds of euros. It just has to be something that you will use and it will do its job and last you for a very, very long time. And I think that we've done that. I'm really proud of ourselves for what we have in our kitchen now. It took a long time to get the KitchenAid mixer we bought, I think a year or so ago, because expensive stuff you just have to plan for, right? So what is your favorite kitchen appliance? I feel like that is such an adult question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I bet you have a favorite kitchen appliance. So let me know down in the comments below because I just think that's such a fun question to answer. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow we'll be making another goodie. You don't want to miss it. And no, it does not involve alcohol. I realize that a lot of them have. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, and I did want to let you know that I had the, the chia pumpkin pie this morning and it was much better than I expected. Having it right after a regular pumpkin pie, not advised, but on its own, it was very delicious. Okay, again, thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.